the way singing bowls produce sound is the same way that every musical instrument produces sound, which is that they produce a harmonic series. There's a low fundamental tone, the lowest tone that you hear, followed by a harmonic series of higher tones above that. And when a singing bowl is well tuned like this one, that harmonic series will fall in line like a note and then a perfect fifth above that note will be the next harmonic and then a perfect fourth above that note would be the next harmonic which is the same to say as an octave above the first note so you've got a note and then kind of half an octave above and then a full octave above and then again half an octave above if you could hear that fourth tone which in a real deep sounding singing bowl you can hear the four tones because it starts at a lower point and the threshold doesn't doesn't uh, go up so high so we can get that fourth octave still within our hearing range if that makes sense so all singing bowls produce three or four tones like that in a sequence and what I do is I hand select the ones that sound the most in tune. So not all singing bowls sound in tune. In fact, most of them sound a bit out of tune. And that's just how they were made, how they were hammered, that they have to be hammered to a precise enough shape and with the right variations in the thickness to, to get the harmonics to line up in a pleasing way. And my skill is really in hand choosing the best tones. So it's got nothing to do with the number of metals. It's got more to do with the craftsmanship uh, and uh, how well they were made. Okay, And there's a lot of factors that go into that, which I discuss in my book, The Singing Bowl Book, um, which, as I mentioned, you can get for half price by using the coupon BOOK50 on my website, HimalayanBowls.com. Add the Singing Bowl book to your shopping cart. Use the coupon BOOK50. That's B-O-O-K. The number's 50, BOOK50, and you will get 50% off. The book is also available in print from Amazon.com. The Singing Bowl book with the orange cover and the 100-plus photos, 130-some photos uh, that I took in my travels in Asia as I travel around eight countries discovering and learning about the history of singing bowls. I'm always available to answer questions, so please feel free to contact me by phone, email, or live chat at himalayanbowls.com.